it was raining very badly uh, very heavily and so we put tins you know lot of tin you know when you eat after that tins you know you put tin and the roof was leaking so the water was hitting the roof uh, the tins so there was lot of like drum all day, the free free kind of so we i i taped it and i told ed blackwell oh man check this my new drum solo you know and <laughs> and we you know me and nana were telling wow man what what time signature i think it's 54 and you know you know we just uh, and he was listening say yeah yes yes and then afterwards we told him you know you want to see the real thing so we took him outside and we showed him all the tins you know where the water was falling and you know <laughs> so he really believed that was a, my 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 drum solo <laughs> When I was there, uh, I know Carl Blay was there. And, yeah, we're very close. Was Carl Berger was the director. It was like a little. They had little uh, tents around with, and it was in Woodstock, and it was outside and and uh, teaching young st st musicians. Mm -hmm. You know, improvisation is very mysterious, and uh, mm -hmm. try to to try to find out where it comes from. <laughs> Steve Lacey once gave a solo saxophone concert there and right in the middle of one of the songs that he was playing he took the saxophone out of his mouth and said to everyone present don't go to school and then continue to play I think it was really the opposite of of a good learning experience it was like learning to be perhaps it was good for the students it taught them to be uh, irreverent it taught them not to trust the establishment. It taught them to think for themselves and not do anything their teachers told them to do. The whole lesson was something other than logical. It was something illogical and sort of interest, more interesting than a real, a real school. It was certainly a, a desire in my life to teach there because of the people that taught there before me. It was great for me because um, it was the first time I was able to teach conduction in the United States. Student-teacher relationship was very informal. It was very relaxed. It was as though you're teaching your children something rather than being in an academic situation. or. I, it, it was rare then, and I think it's rare now in many educational situations that you have this opportunity to sit uh, with your students and, 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 and talk about music and talk about what may be essential to finding your way through your music. We built tents on the stage next to the instruments and, you know, next to the musicians and we would just play house on stage until we got tired and then we would go to sleep in the tents and uh, sleep right through the concert. Maybe that's why now I can sleep through anything. <laughs> Manastıra gel, müzik manastırına gelmiş gibi hissettim. Her taraftan müzik sesleri geliyor, her kulübede müzik müzisyenler workshoplar oluyor, hep müzikten bahsediliyor. Akşam oluyor, konserler veriliyor. Herkes değişik değişik ülkeler çıkıyorlar, çalıyorlar. Herkes aynı coşku içerisinde, herkes birbirini takdir ediyor. Çok yüce bir duygu yani orada olmak. Herkese nasip olmayan bir şey olduğunu hissedip devamlı 
zevkten ağladığımı hatırlıyorum. 